Hi, in this lecture, we are going to set up the target machine, which contains all the web applications we are going to hack during this course. Basically, to follow along in this course and do all the exercises, you only need this machine and the Kali Linux, which we are going to install in the next lecture. So hopefully you have already downloaded the file, which I shared in the previous lecture. Uh, if not, then you can download it from this URL. And when it's finished, you will get zip file. So first of all, just uh, unzip it. And then you will get this folder, which is basically the virtual machine. So I created this virtual machine with uh, VMware Fusion but I also tested it with uh, VMware Workstation and uh, VirtualBox. So whatever virtualization software you use, it should be working. Of course, because I created with, with a VMware product, it will be much easier to install it in, a, in another VMware product, but I will also show how you can do that in VirtualBox. If you haven't used any virtualization software before, I recommend you to use VirtualBox because it's uh, free but I won't really go into details how to use this software. I'm hoping that you already know that. So if you're using a VMware product, just copy this folder to the folder where you're keeping all your virtual machines. And, uh, and when you did that, then just double click the etherwebhackingtarget.bmx file, and then it will it will open in uh, VMware and then you can say take ownership and then it boots immediately and this is the console of the virtual machine And uh, here you can see the three applications we are going to use. The IP address will be different for you because it's, it, uses, it prints here the IP address which is configured on, uh, on your machine automatically. And uh, you can open these URLs in the browser to test it. So I can just go to here and let's say Two hundred and three VE, and this is the voice of the emperor, for instance, one of the applications we are going to hack. Also, to log into this virtual machine, I will show you that in a moment. You can use the user ether, or and the password for ether. You could log in from here on the console, but uh, you can also log in with SSH. If uh, you're using Linux or Mac, then you can do it from the terminal. So SSH, ether is the user, and then the IP address, which will be probably different for you. And then the password, as it says here, for ether, for ether, and then you're in. I will recommend you in various lectures to do an exercise. Most of the exercise is finding the, the problem which we are exploited in that lecture or fixing these problems. So to do that, you will have to go to the source code of these applications. So you can find that under uh, slash war www.html and you can change the root user to actually make be able to change uh, the code with sudo bash and then for ether and then your root and there here you have all the all the two applications so you can just go in for instance to ve and then you can find the source code of that application here if you want to do the exercises, which I really recommend. Also, I recommend you that when you install the machine to make a snapshot because 
what it, if anything goes wrong, you can always revert back to that snapshot and then you get a clean system. So if everything works for you, then you can just come to virtual machine and say snapshot, take a snapshot and call it like fresh install or, or something. All right, I will just turn it off now and show you how you can install the same machine in VirtualBox. Then in VirtualBox, you actually have to create a new machine. You cannot just import the one you downloaded. What you need to do is create a new machine and uh, use the virtual disk of the downloaded machine in this new machine. So you can do that by coming here and creating new and then call it either web hacking target and it's a linux ubuntu 64-bit that's fine at hard disk you should say that do not add a new virtual hard disk and create and then here you can right click and say show in finder it should take you to the folder where this virtual machine is For me, that's under my home folder and then VirtualBox VMs and then the name of the virtual machine. And uh, then what, need, what you need to do is go to the place where you have the downloaded machine and take all the v .vmdk files. That's the virtual machine disk. And then copy it and paste it to where the VirtualBox virtual machine is. All right, now that's ready. And then you come back to VirtualBox and say, right click settings and go to storage. And under storage, go to controller SATA and click on add hard disk and say choose an existing hard disk and then when this opens you have to go to the same place where you just copied the files which will be for me under Gary VirtualBox VMs and the Ether web hacking target and then choose the virtual disk cl1.vmdk and open ok and let's boot it All right, it booted up as well. You can see the URL is now different, but uh, it should still work. You can also SSH to it the same way. And, um, and basically that's it. So we'll use this machine during the whole course. So just make sure it works. And with that, we are finished with this lecture. So I will see you in the next one. Take care, bye.